Another key agreement outlined in the joint declaration is economic cooperation. Of course, they will first need relief from sanctions. Kim Hye Sung explains further what the two sides plan to prepare until that time comes. The two Koreas have agreed to boost economic exchanges on the basis of co-prosperity and take substantive measures to develop the economy. First, the two leaders agreed to hold a groundbreaking ceremony linking rail and roads along the east and west coasts within this year and discuss the possibility of creating special economic and tourism zones along the coasts. Already, the two Koreas have conducted joint inspections on the railroads in July, as outlined in the Panmunjom Declaration last April. Second, there are plans to reopen the Kaesong Industrial Complex, a symbol of cross-border economic cooperation, which opened in 2004 but has been shut down since 2016 amid heightened tensions on the Korean Peninsula following North Korea's nuclear test. When conditions are ready, as economic ventures or investment in the North would require the lifting of UN sanctions on North Korea. In addition, the two Koreas have agreed to push for cooperation in environmental protection like forestry restoration and health care and medical services. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.